Palmetto State. Adam Cavalier alongside Carson Newman head men's basketball coach Chuck Benson. Chuck, uh, an exhibition contest for your, your Eagles against a very good uh, Division I opponent, opponent in Belmont. What did you learn about your team uh, before getting back into conference play this weekend? Uh, well, this, this, this is what it is. This is what it is. I mean, uh, I, knew, I knew full and well when we took this, this opportunity uh, that would be, you know, by far the most challenging scenario we face. Um, and um, just trying to keep things in perspective, I, I, I told our guys, like, you know, I, I'm not disappointed really in, in, in the outcome as much as I am just um, our response. Um, our response may, maybe to, to, to just to the adversity of the situation. I thought, I thought um, when, if you, if, you, if you look at their cab, first 10 minutes of the first half, we were it was neck and neck. Pr yeah. pr pretty strong deal. And, 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 and we, the, 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 that basket just closed up on us. And, and, and uh, that's a testament to Belmont's length, Belmont's <laughs> uh, resilience on, on the defensive end. And, 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 we, and, you know, we, we really just struggled to make shots over and over and over again. And then that, that was a domino effect that impacted almost every other element of the game. So uh, that's disappointing. Uh, but this was things where this wasn't a win, this wasn't a loss, this was an opportunity. Uh, and, and we move on immediately to um, our next opponent, which is Coker. Uh, led into some, you, you bring up struggling to make shots for Carson Newman. Uh, I don't care who the opponent is. I don't care if – somebody's guarding you or not, Belmont made 20 of 22 shots over a 14-minute span. Yeah. That's 91%. That's tough for Charles Clark to do <laughs> by himself or Ish Sanders to do by yeah. himself at the free throw line. Yeah, well, you know, that, that, that just is what it is. Uh, I, I actually told our guys, I thought, you know, um, if we can't make shots tonight, at least let's try to really work, our, work and improve defensively. I actually thought we, as crazy as it sounds, I thought we – solidified some things the second half from a defensive standpoint. So for that, you know, I thought we, we had some takeaway from that in a positive way. But, um, yeah, I mean, you know, Belmont <laughs> can obviously make shots. Uh, it, it, this, 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 is a, this is a really, really good team uh, that they have. Uh, and, you know, I mean, they're, they're, they're very capable. Zaylen Peeler, nice night, 13 points. Uh, for him, had eight in the first half, five in the second. Uh, what keyed his effort, his efforts against again a team with a lot of length that bothered a lot of your players, but not um, him. It felt like. Well, I mean, you know, he he he, he I thought he had great poise. I, I thought he uh, had great determination. I, I liked the way he played tonight. Um, you know, um, so I'm happy because he he's 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 a sophomore. He set out last year after a transfer, and every time he plays, it's just another opportunity for him to get confidence and get feeling better. So I'm really happy for him for that um you know I, there were some other guys that, that i thought richard henderson had yeah. some some good moments i thought bryant thomas got some good minutes um we try as you saw we tried to play a lot of guys try, trying to just get more new rubbed off of guys so that we can continue to evolve but um the, the truth is the truth i mean that that, that, that that's a very good team and, and they're good at every position and and they, they, they. I mean, this was a game for them. So yeah. scrimmage for us is a game for them. So they took this thing very seriously. Uh, you bring up Richard Henderson. Hadn't played these past few contests, <laughs> uh, but had 16 high-level minutes. Went four of eight from uh, the floor uh, and blocked three shots. Uh, what keyed his efforts? Well, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a big-time athlete. First of all. And he and he and he plays and utilizes athleticism on the court, uh, <coughs> just like everything else. I mean, he, he he's 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 one of several guys we have that that we're, that's trying to get some some opportunity in rotation and trying just to 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 find his place. Um, and I and I determined he had he had a really good practice yesterday, uh, and I thought we're going to give him a little extra time tonight. Uh, you know, Cam Andre doing by cough, Timo was out with an injury. Cam did, didn't play him, not, no, nothing wrong at all. I just wanted to get some of these other newer guys opportunity. I know what Andre can do. I know he, what he brings, and he, and he brings value. It's just that uh, tonight I thought it was a great opportunity to get Bryant and and um, uh, Richard minutes and, and be able to hold Andre back a bit. 
Uh, turn your attention now to a matchup with the Cobras of Coker in a really interesting situation there. Yep. Uh, head coach goes down with a stroke before yep. an yep. exhibition with College of Charleston. Uh, certainly our thoughts go out to the yeah, entire sure. Coker athletic sure. family. Uh, but an interesting situation, uh, but also a conference game that you have to take care of business in now that finals are over. Absolutely. Well, our thoughts and prayers obviously are with the, the coach and the staff, the team, uh, it's it's an unbelievable situation. Guys, young, thirty something, and just basically falls out right before a game at Charles College of Charleston, yeah. I think. So uh, we hope he can come back healthy and sound. Um, um, but it seems like the guy that, that, that the assistant has taken over and is trying to trying to to do what he can do in a very very unfortunate situation. So uh, we we know we'll have our hands full. I think they're, I think they're playing well. Uh, it's not necessarily. Translated to, to win jet, but they're playing well, and uh, we'll be we'll be happy to get back into the groove <laughs> against that kind of sack opponent. Chuck, pleasure as always. We'll talk to you Saturday. Right, thanks, Cap. That is Carson Newman, head men's basketball coach, Chuck Benson Eagles.